My next guest is a celebrated director, screenwriter, actor, artist, and author. But over the years, he's picked up some other monikers, too. The Prince of Puke, the Pope of Trash, the People's Pervert. I am so jealous. I'm talking about John Waters, who's developed a more than cult following for his classics Pink Flamingos, Polyester, The Original Hairspray, Cry Baby, plus books including Shock Value, Crackpot, Car Sick, and Make Trouble, which he most certainly has over the course of his career, and he's learned a few things along the way. He shares a lot of them in his latest book. It's called Mr. Know-It-All, The Tarnished Wisdom of a Filth Elder. John, it's good to see you again. Thank you. You've heard almost the exact same introduction. I just realized as I'm reading it a thousand times. How would you introduce you? you well here i am again 50 years later still doing it and i haven't changed that much in 50 years everything else has but not you not so me. talk about strange which is almost redundant but so you do the radio show marjorie you're going to meet today you come here tonight and in between you spoke at google headquarters in kendall square what's so odd about that well it is odd. what was that like for you well i get along with cults <laughs> I mean, and it was like it was like Pleasantville. You, you go in there; it has everything. You never have to leave. They want you to work all the time. The people were lovely. I had a great time. Uh, yeah, you can never it's Hotel California too. So, can we talk about a town twenty minutes away by a plane? Fifty-five years. Fifty-fourth summer, I think. Oh, fifty-fourth well, summer. Well, sixty-four to now. How long? It says fifty-five in your book. You should read the thing. In any oh, case, yeah, yeah. fifty-four, fifty-five. In a well, row that is to Providence. Yeah. Then, whatever. Why? Why fifty-five in a row? Well, because it's the only place. Once you pick a summer resort, you can't switch. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> well, because you can't go to Providence and then go to what? Wildwood, New Jersey, Why can't in between. You? I because went to it's Wildwood, the same. New Jersey. But, well, I like Wildwood. Uh -huh. I like to work at the roller coaster there. <laughs> but um, I, I just like once you get into that lifestyle, and, that, and I've written every book there. I've written all my movies there, and everything. I ride my bike there. It's the close to healthy as I get. I go swimming every day, and now it's even edgier with sharks everywhere. It makes it more exciting. Yeah, I read in your book one part of your daily ritual yeah. is the mo one of the most beautiful beaches in the world with this cliff like drop, Long Nook. Oh, it's beautiful. That wasn't, there. you were instructing me today, that wasn't where the guy was killed. That was where the guy had I think got his leg bit off. Or something. Well, but there was that a, scary a little bit? Well, what's even scarier, there was a wave that just came up and dragged somebody back and killed them and they were walking down the beach. I never worry about that. So would you go in the water? Oh, yeah, I, I go in the water. What's the odds? The odds are getting killed on Route 6 driving home. is <laughs> much worse. Um, it makes it more exciting. You know, there's seals there. Right when you're swimming, a seal come right up next to you and you think, whoa, <laughs> this is edgy swimming. Nothing like swimming with the seals, I'll tell you. The fishes, too. So, you know, if I had to name a person who I would like to follow on social media, it would be you, but I can't. Why? Because I, I work 10 hours a day. There's websites about me that I'm fine, but there's ones that say they're me that really sound like me that are not me. I know that for I well. don't look at it. I'm not interested in what you had for breakfast. Why is that? Because I'm, I'm interested in what you had well, for breakfast. Well, no, I'll sell it in the book. What I don't get is Twitter. Why would you give away your jokes every day? Who's going to buy them? I have a spoken word show, books i got to do. i got to save my material. Okay, fine. Speaking of your material, can we play a little? Do you want to play a game? Or you know, sure. Okay, fine. I'm going to play a song. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to tell me why I played it. Is that okay, all right? Yep. Okay, let's try it. Just once in a lifetime A girl knows a moment One wonderful moment When fate takes her hand So why are we listening to Dan Warwick again? Well, because Divine used to lip sync to this song when we were taking LSD uh -huh. in about 1970. Yeah. And in the book, I take acid again when I'm 70-some years old. Yeah. And we played the record, and it sounded just as good. I, you know, uh, people like George H.W. Bush skydive on their 70th birthday. Yeah. You take LSD. Yeah. Why, why was that exactly? I needed to shake those cobwebs out. <laughs> whap, 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 Did it whap, shake whap, them? Whap, 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 whap. Yeah, definitely. I'm not like? having a senior moment. I'm tripping. Were you scared you'd never come down? No, I, I don't wasn't mean that. I mean no, now. I'm not scared of that. But I w if I had known how strong it was going to be, I would have been scared. But I wasn't taking any microdose. I don't have to do it again. Well, they do that at Google, don't what they? What a man had to do to get a book contract. <laughs> Okay. Last time I had to hitchhike across the country by Car myself. Sick. I love that. This book. time I took acid. You know, what's next? What is next? I don't know. I've got to think it up. Okay, so one of your chapters is Act Bad. It's about activism. And you, you sort of, is it fair to say you celebrate the Yippies? 
Oh, I love the yippies. Okay, so I, for those who were uninitiated, what is what was a yippie? Yippie in the yippie 60s? used humorous terrorism to embarrass the enemy, and the the only person that does that today is the Satanic Temple, and they do the same thing. I don't believe they're Satanists. I, I mean, they are, but I'm not one. I don't have anything to wear to a goat sacrifice. So, but at the same time, they're having fun. They embarrass the Christians, and and they rise to the bait every time. But you think political act the key to put successful political activism, correct me if I'm wrong, is humor has got to be right yeah, in there. To embarrass the enemy, to make them look like fools. So who who has gotten that? Who are you voting for in the primary? Well, that's a tough one. We'd have to go through it. Alfred E. Newman, actually. Because, <laughs> he put a judge no, vote? I'd vote for him before. <laughs> but however, I'm for any of them. But at the same time, I'm afraid they're all going to fight. They're going to kill each other arguing. You believe they argue about should the Boston bomber be allowed to vote? Are they crazy? They're going to destroy each other. Is Trump going to be a two-term president? Yes, unfortunately. So when I read your last chapter, it's not the, the Grim Reaper. Re grim, grim Reaper. Grim no, Reaper. Grim, okay, no, Grim Reaper. It's grim about grim death. Reaper. And yeah. I, I worry that you're telling you're not telling us something. Mario? No, I'm fine. Oh, fine, I'm fine, okay. fine. But who isn't? I'm 73. I'm not going to be middle aged. I'm not going to live to be what's twice that. But 73 is the new 33, yeah. as you know. So you have did something that I've wanted to do my whole life. Not my first apartment ever. My first apartment in New York City when I was a kid. You went to it was a 315 East 25th. Yes, you know the. And, and so come. why did that matter so much to you? That's a because, your first apartment. Yeah, I, I dream about it all the time that I still live there and I go back and everything's the same as how I left it. And I thought there's that thing I've been looking for. So in my last chapter, I beat death. I, I tell you how to beat death. How it's do you just beat constant. Ego so strong, it refuses to die. And then I go back. There, There is sort of like the rapture only gone <laughs> rotten. And I go back and live in the walls of my first apartment where I, you know, I'm really happy. I claw my way up through the earth and through the worms and I have one arm and everything, but I'm really excited. Was Dionne Warwick singing when you were there? No, 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 but the song, there are songs I think I talk about there. Now, before you leave, could you tell people what Disgraceland is, please, and what you hope it will be? Well, Disgrace Land is where I'm going to be buried, and mm -hmm. I bought the grave. Divine's mm -hmm. already there. Uh, Mink Stoll's going to be there. Pat Moran, all my great friends I've worked with, and we call it Disgrace Land, mm -hmm. where we're all going to be buried, and it's one-stop shopping. Come visit <laughs> us. You know, Don't steal my head. That's what they did to F.W. Murnau, the director. And where is it today? They Never did got that back. to Ted Williams, too. You well, know, maybe. On a yeah. tuna can. Somebody steals my head. I hope they put it somewhere good. See you in Disgrace Land. Yeah. Your book is great. Thank you so great much. Great to see you. The Thank great you. John Waters. The book, again, is Mr. Know-It-All, The Tarnished Wisdom of a filth elder.